Hello, welcome to the Compile Guru. So, we all welcome to the our new tutorial series of the Excel presented by the Compile Guru. So, as we know why we use the Excel, it's mostly to uh, perform business operation in which we require store and organize data. For that, we need to analyze the data, finding the intelligence, and taking the decision on the basis of that. So that play an important role in our life so you should know to operate Excel. we can use an excel to present our data as a graphically and any type of graph which you like to plot in order to understand that particular type of data graphically coming to the slavers part in the introduction series we will provide you the introduction to micro excel that is in the current video the next tutorial will give the idea of sense to how to add, subtract, multiply, divide in Excel. Excel's data validation, filter, and grouping. And next, introduction to the formulas, functions in the Excel. Coming to the next, logical functions and the conditions in the Excel. And visual data using chart in the Excel. In the next series of advanced stuff, we'll Know, let you know about connecting access to the external data sources, creating pivot tables, creating advanced chart, access in the cloud, CSV versus Excel. What is the actual difference? Excel will look up tutorial for doing this, learning with the examples. Now we'll go into the macros and visual basic advance. So it is the very important for those who are looking for a ministerial managerial role that is one of the thing which require advanced knowledge in that will provide you introduction to macros excel creating your first visual basic applications in excel visual basic advanced data type a variables constant error excel form of control activex control arithmetic operator string comparison logic call substance return call range object this is the course which is make me efficient and advanced to use an excel so that will be covered in this online tutorial additional to will adding uh, more tutorial about the excel in order to understand more in detail will add you let you know the further uh, slivers after the web series mm. so we know the excels Excel spreadsheets organize information by text or number by row and column. So you know that this is that row and that is the column. It is represented by letter of the top of the C. And cell, this is called the cell. In Excel, you can do like that. This is simply called cell. So S E cell have their address. For example, I'm clicking this cell. The cell add this has an address of G6. So this cell has the address G6. So in Excel, every cell is their allocated address in order to perform their operations. So there's a data entry and which can be achieved in two ways. First you type directly into the cell, click on cell and type that data into the text. Simply you're just doing data entry directly, right? Second method is just type into the formula bar and click on cell, then click on the formula bar using the FX function. So this is the formula bar. You can put anything, any formula equal five into two. You can check it performing operation. If you are not using this, this will be look like that. So this is a second way to enter your data. So, how to start? As you know, it's a simple process. Start all program or office just Excel. So, what is the formula and function in the Excel? Formula are the equations that perform calculation in your spreadsheets. Formula always begin with equal signs. You enter equal sign in your cell. You are basically using Excel to calculate this. So, I am using equal sign. Okay. So, 5 plus 2. This equal will give the direction to the Excel they are using any formula. So here I'm using operator with the plus. 
so you can see seven if you're not giving equal sign that excel will not understand that this is need to be performed so it will not identify the function so you can see here it remain as five plus two the functions are excel defined formula they can take data and enter perform calculation on them and return the value for example you have one in second two three required for form operation that you need to add these three rows right you just need to use whenever you're calling function or any operation you need to put an equal sign so so this sum applied and you need to sell put the address of three cell sorry so you can see the sum of these three rows will come so this is called the excel defined function all the function has a common format equal as i told you sign followed by the function name followed by the parameter which we have need to give in a parenthesis right so this is example of average i have already given for the sum so you need to understand first that descriptive statistics <coughs> so average median mode standard deviation are all the descriptive extract you can use as directly function with that and use for what you want to do, know the particular stats for example for average i just want to know just want to know the average of these three numbers here so just click on average you can find the average simply you can calculate median mode vrp standard deviation just by using this function directly with the equal size so so these are the calculation you can use we will tell you in a much detail by giving you uh, uh, giving in a practical sense so these correlations calculating pairs so this is the motive to aware or to get the sense of action the next video will like to follow our syllabus as i provided in my syllabus that is how to add subtract multiply and divide in action hope you like this video please like and subscribe our channel thank you